Back of the shop, it's early. I walked here. I've been, ugh. god damn it. I've been eating like shit. Since this whole like, ugh, shop, uh, shop, craziness, trying to get it all done, I have just completely, I tried to start this off with a salad sabbatical. It's turned into a salad, I don't even know what, a salad Sahara. So, I walked here today. Uh, I walked home last night. So yeah, it's time to start moving my body a little more. I really try to focus on eating better, which should be easy to do because uh, things have slowed down a little bit, I guess. Won't be that easy to do traveling. Well, the next three days are draw. Draw, draw, draw. Dragon City tattoos, probably gonna just being a dragon because it's gonna make more sense anyway. But, well, dragon flames. A lot of stuff to do, just drawing shit. I got, I got drops coming, everything happening. Florida, I'm booking out Florida right now. I have this whole time mapped off, but I'm not gonna be gone that long. Probably gonna leave for Florida on the third. Probably gonna come home around the 11th or the 12th. I'm about to spend my morning emailing everyone back. I'm sitting here calmly, calmly, calmly sitting here. It's, you see how quiet it is here? It's nice, right? I get a text that says, table isn't the wrong way. It opens for storage. It doesn't open to reach over like a desk. It will close again. I said wrong, it opens to eat off of. It's on the display picture on the box. Hmm, okay. I mean, I bought the table as long as it stays open, I guess. I looked at the pictures, okay. I read the description and then you showed up here. And then the first thing that you said was, I don't know. I you just said, so I guess that table does go the other way. Interesting. Yeah, but when I put it together, I put a little pressure and it closed and I'm like, how does anyone get to eat on this? How much food you eating, fam? Ice cream and a sandwich on that. Let's go. Bring something heavy. Bring something heavy. Dog, you activate me. I sit here quietly and you just activate the fuck. Oh, you brought the big boy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh shit, it's, yeah, you'd have to lay on it because it's at an angle. Put the thing together. I I know. When I put it together, I opened it and then I was, I don't know, I felt like. Yeah, I guess it's pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I mean, I don't know how much food you're eating. <laughs> it's be pretty fucking heavy. One one uh, myth busted this morning. See where else the day leads. <laughs> so I saw Lion King last night. Oh God, how fucking awful was that? You know, you know it, it wasn't that bad, you know? That's what you're getting ready to say to me. You know, well, it's, it really, the same, you know it it's the exact same as... You mean they didn't change it up? Nothing. Man. Weird, it's I'm surprised. It's that it's live action now. See ya. How did they do the fight scenes? I wanted to go see the Quentin Tarantino movie, honestly, just so I could see the talk about it, but... Uh, I mean, I'll go see it. I, have, I will go see the movie. Well, I will too, but I wanted to see that, and then Brandy was like, let's see The Lion King. God, Mary sounds awesome. It was a bunch of soft dudes and their girlfriends. That's yeah, the you. A bunch of yous. It was a bunch of yous. <laughs> you, you think you're the only one that wasn't? You're like, I'm the hard one here. That's what all of you think. All of you walk in with your chicks being like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not the poindexter, you know? I'm, this is a one-time thing for me. <laughs> Meanwhile, there y'all are. Every guy walking in, I go, oh, look at this. They should have, yeah, yeah. They should have an app that pings you all together. And yeah, dude, you know, it was Childish Gambino as Simba, you figure. You uh, can't go wrong what? with Beyonce. They yeah. just dressed up like cats? And no, they, they're, it was all CGI, but the voice. Oh. Oh, oh, it's not even real? No. I thought they were real animals. It looks like. Like, it's uh. CGI to look like the real animals, but they don't Man. have dicks. Whoa. It's <laughs> no like dicks. a cartoon. Dick has no Just like a cartoon. You've got this dicks. huge lion. He goes flying through the air. No dick. Well, the thing is, he's eating bugs the whole time because he won't eat meat because he's friends with all these animals. Simba's You're vegan? Me this motherfucker Are you telling me we got a vegan, vegan lion? came back and took over the throne after not no. eating meat for 12 years? We have years? a vegan lion king. I don't believe it. No. Like, I need some animals. And they're like, we don't eat animals out here. We eat bugs. And he's like, oh. Yeah, because right. the reality is the lion would have fucking tore that warthog right the fuck up. Day yeah. one, he's like, bitch, I'm hungry. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was all big name people, but of it, course, that's all movies. It's Disney. You know? Yeah. It's all like, movies have big name people. That's why the Mr. Rogers movie is gonna take off. If you take big name actors and put them on anything. It's yeah. all good. It doesn't matter. Tom Cruise? Okay. Tom Cruise has been acting for 80 years, bro. I can live the rest of my life without another Tom Cruise movie. You tell, me, you tell me there's not another 5'4 actor out there? Bring up the trailer to the new Top Gun. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Here's the thing about that Lion King, though. Look, if you're a kid, it's actors. enjoyable. It's a cute movie. But it's like... Yeah, it's a Lion King movie. Yeah, I'm not into the original story. Yeah. Fuck Mufasa. Fuck Scar. Fuck them all, man. 
Top Gun 2. Top Gun Maverick. That's all Maverick? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. Combat Medal. Citation. Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years. Top Gun meant a lot more to me when I was a kid, and I didn't realize that war meant that other people had to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. Or bad guys were just bad guys yeah, as when a I kid. They were actually bad guys. You know, just people that were a different color. Yeah. <laughs> or eat different foods. Yeah. I mean, it's filmed. You should be at least a two star. Yeah. And here you are. Hey, we got the old face out This dude's about 100 now. I'm the, that's Scientology. They always He's looking shoot, young they as fuck. They always fuck. shoot Tom Cruise from up. always on the ground up. Yeah. So goddamn short. Is you know, that. See the angle? Somebody's down on their fucking. Somebody's down like this. If you, if you pan down from the scene, one dude's up here, Tom Cruise, and the <laughs> Same jacket, same glasses, same body. That same Tom Cruise grin, but a new class. Welcome. He's dead! Back the fuck up! Did they bring the zombie goose back? Maybe it's a memory. See? Yeah, that's an old it's memory. Yeah, that's a cutback. Don't disrespect my man Goose like that. It's your fucking fault. He's dead, Tom. <laughs> Did we forget? Did we forget part one? <laughs> fucking dick. The only reason they got him to still do this is because he's small enough to fit in that plane. Look at him. <laughs> back of a fucking, that's the back of a Volkswagen right there. <laughs> <laughs> standing in a Jetta. That's a Jetta. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a jet. Jet Not today. Man, this looks whack. I also then, when I came home from Lion King, I jumped back into the Phantom Menace. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm watching it like 20 minutes Why? at a time just to get through it. I gotta get through the story. I just want to be kind of up on my... You want to be up on your Phantom Menace trivia? You <laughs> fucking Jar Jar? You're the Jar Jar of this vlog. What? It's in my love for Kodak. It's what? Homework. It's over? <laughs> Why? I mean, listen, I'm still What, the like punching a pregnant lady in the stomach line got you today? Well, that, you know, that's part of it, but uh, I just, you know, with him away, it's over with, dude. It's, the hype is over, the good. Oh, you're a hype beast. No, but it's the a man's life. It's a man's life we're talking about, bro. You know, I, well, I wish him the best, but I just don't care anymore. You should put some money on his book. I'll put money on Diddy's book. <laughs> Damn, look at this car. Damn, broke up with Kodak. Yeah, dude. About to go see this Quentin Tarantino movie in a couple hours. Uh, on film. 35 millimeter film. Yup. You get dirty with it. Yeah. Quentin. QT. A little quality time with QT. Yeah. Am I going with an open mind? Because that's what I do. Let him rape your mind. Uh, I'm going to let Quentin Tarantino butt fuck my mind. <laughs> there <we> go. <laughs> what? I can't come home and grab nothing. You always got to start something. <laughs> go on. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yo. It hurt. I gotta go, dude. Gotta go back to work. I went down there to change pants. I didn't even fucking get a chance to change pants. All right, well, I just got a refund for the Sims. I tweeted out they were taking forever, and then my homie from StockX hit me up. They found out that they could not authenticate these. First one came in, they said those were fake. These, problem with the seller, so we got our money back. We paid 1036 so let's just take a look right now. Let's see if we can get it even cheaper. Also, shout out to fucking Canary, dude. As you guys know, I've been watching ever since Sneaker room. Uh, I've used Canary to literally watch the shit out of everything I own now. When I'm away from home, pan, wherever, I can check on whatever I want. I'm a dog, I can talk through it. Super sick, they've been great. And they sent me a whole box of Canaries. So I'm gonna give a couple of these away. I needed one or two more for the shop. And uh, also I have a few memberships to give away too. Cause you get like a yearly membership that you pay for. Uh, you don't have to have the membership for the camera to work. You just get extra perks as usual in business. But uh, yeah, soon. I gotta get this done before we get to Tokyo for Toshi. There's sleeve to draw, Meta God painting still. Still sitting here. Funny, they're deconstructing him and it is taking me forever to construct it. But it's in the schedule. So we're good.
good to get. Gotcha. And basically, I've been getting a lot of tattoo questions. So let's just discuss it real quick. So, tattoos. I took a long break from tattooing regularly for a lot of reasons. One of those reasons is just like the tattoo world, the community, TV shows, mainstream, everything. Like, that's all well and good, but it's not necessarily for me. I had quite the tattoo journey that just like, never, I was never really able to make my own rules, you know? And a lot of tattooers coming up don't get to. If you curate your own style and people start to get it, but curating your own style, having people understand it, it's not that easy, you know? It takes a long time for that to happen. It doesn't take as long anymore because of the internet, kind of like one foot in, one foot out. So now because of the internet, I can do that. I don't have to tattoo every day. Very fucking fortunate, I feel very blessed for that. I don't want to tattoo every day. I don't want to be tired when I'm tattooing. I don't want to be rushed. I don't want to think about all the other shit I have to do that day. I want just scheduled time. With that being said, I also want to be able to have days to work on the ideas. I don't want to get behind ideas that I don't like. Don't want to do shit just because people want. From this point on, or even really months ago, I'm only really doing Japanese tat. I have a style that kind of mixes America and Japanese that I do. It's like my Ted style, but uh, anyway. So mostly just doing Japanese tattoos. Something from one of my brands or like a design or something that relates to me, then obviously I'll do it. I'll still do some traditional stuff with like twists. As long as I can put my flair on it, it's all good. But Japanese and traditional are just what holds up. And I don't really like a lot of traditional. All these dudes out here doing traditional, just doing clunky, shitty tattoos. And bold will hold for sure, but you wanna make sure that what's holding there is what you want for life. Some of this bold will hold shit that looks like shit. And I think that Japanese, especially large scale Japanese, it what is what works the best. It looks the best, holds up the best. You see it out in public, fucking striking, it's powerful. That's the shit that I like, like power animals, power totems. Just don't want to get, I just don't, you know, putting something permanent on somebody that one, I'm not into, even though I can do a really good job on it. You know, I can do a really good job on all kinds of stuff, but I don't necessarily can't get behind it, you know? And it doesn't mean it has to be like boring, like you can put new flares on shit. Like people act like it's just gotta be this boring, same. A lot of dudes just trace the same shit and keep tattooing it and call it tradition. That's not what I'm talking about either. Trying to build a new body of work, a large body of work. I have to curate what I spend my time doing or else every tattoo I do that's not getting me closer to the body of work that I wanna create is just either a step back or a step nowhere. So we ain't got time for that. All right. block for you. I don't know. I don't know if you were even here yet, really. <laughs> oh yeah, I went around the block and then I ran into a fucking curb over there. Oh god. Yeah, and that was your fault. Followers. You stay jumping these curbs out here. Dude, I'm not used to driving, bro. I need limitless shit, you know what I mean? Boundless life. No boundaries. All right, once upon a time in Hollywood. What a royal piece of shit. What a royal boring piece of, the most boring <coughs> movie I've seen in a long fucking time. A goddamn ode to Quentin Tarantino's parents soundtrack. A soundtrack to a fucking made up, it's not even the way the shit played out. I guess the once upon a time yeah. was like a what, what if. What a royal piece of shit. Like what a royal piece of shit. It was boring dude, as fuck, dude. I could just say it's long. I don't really know what it was about. It's not about anything. It's literally yeah. like a highlight reel of Quentin in Tarantino's childhood. Girls he couldn't fuck, music he listened to, the <laughs> same three fucking shots over and over again. My man fell in love with car shot, my man fell in love with the cropped from the ground shot, the fucking pan away shot, like over the house, every single fucking time it went from <laughs> her house to his house. What a royal piece of shit. Quentin Tarantino, you're not Martin Scorsese and you're a long fucking ways away. That's my fucking review of that piece of shit movie. All right. God, and I tried to like there it. There it is. I went into it with an open, yeah, great, act, great acting. Everyone in their stellar fucking act in a royally piece of shit written movie. Yeah, it's here's just... another question. What's that? How in the fuck? How in the fuck did Brad Pitt's character have dog food at not his house? Now, granted, he could have brought it over, but that seems kind of not plausible because they just happen to go hang out together. But he just has spare of his own brand dog food at the house. Leonardo's did not have a dog, so they're not sharing food. Where the fuck did the dog? A fucking slow, boring, stupid ass movie. Yeah, it was for me. It was just long and. There's like two good scenes. Two good scenes. Ugh. Well, Jesus. There tried, it is. Tried you fucks. Piece of shit movie. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm back to the shop for that terrible, terrible fucking. I know some people are gonna say I'm a hater. I'm not a hater. I just uh, I do this art shit, and that 
Quentin Tarantino with some weak ass art shit that was really well acted. It's a really good thing for Quentin that he's got some talented friends. Like I know she had a Sharon Tate story. I know man, one of the first books I ever checked out in my library, asked my mom, was about Charles Manson. I do believe the book was called Helter Skelter. I got in trouble for it. I was in first grade, maybe second. I know all about Charles Manson. I was obsessed, obsessed with Charles Manson when I was a kid. Sharon Tate, my mom would talk to me about this shit all the time. This movie, no, no, no. All right. Instead of wasting my life watching Quentin Tarantino's awful work, I'm gonna get to work on my own shit. <laughs> Twitter, boom, boom, they can do whatever they want, but uh, their prerogative doesn't really change my mind though, about what I think. And even giving more thought into the Quintin, more discussions about it, it's a dribbly piece of shit. Not a love letter to Hollywood. It's a love letter to Quentin Tarantino from Quentin Tarantino and for all Quentin Tarantino fans. That's what it is. I get it, I get it. All the references, your red apple cigarettes, and all of the fucking shit tying together in this little multiverse, universe, whatever you want to call it, is great. It's awesome. I would love to appreciate all those little details. I think shit like that is amazing, obviously. I love little deep. I love when shit ties together. I love it. That does not make every single movie that this man makes amazing. Every drawing I do is not good. I throw away a bunch, some just get hung up, some never get tattooed. It's ridiculous to think that every piece of output everyone's gonna like. I'm not trying to say that Quentin Tarantino should even give a fuck. If he likes the movie he made, if you like the movie Quentin Tarantino, good for you. That does not change my opinion. I go deep. I watch interviews. I went and watched like five interviews with Quentin Tarantino last night about this movie, which pieced even more together why I don't like it. It's just more nostalgic bullshit repackaged. I am really not interested in Quentin Tarantino's childhood. Like, I'm really not. Not my thing. Like, little pieces here and there that we can relate on, sure, but I, I full-on, like, dive into the seven-year-old mind of fucking Quentin Tarantino. I'm good, bro. Or, like, how a seven-year-old views the world in Hollywood. I don't know. It's just weird. If you like the movie, great. Most people I know who aren't, who are Quentin Tarantino diehards, not even diehards, but fans, don't like it. If you're a diehard, then there's enough, like, it's just like Avenger in game. And it's a lot like, uh, even the movie I like, uh, Ready Player One. There's just a lot of, like, vacuumed porn. You know, it's like self-serving. There's so many Easter eggs in Avengers. There's so many Easter eggs in Ready Player One. There's so many Easter eggs in ones. It's all about the referencing itself. Every movie that's popular right now just keeps referencing itself. Yeah, I guess that's cool, but god damn, it, it, it's being overdone. In my opinion, since you haven't gathered that this is my opinion, because it's coming out of my mouth. But anyway, this sketch is for a shirt, but the original is for Toshi. Finished the started some sketches for my man, uh, kid coming to town. I had a dream last night about how to do the tattoo, so that was good. So I gotta draw that today. I have to book Florida today. Got to do it. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch it around. I thought I was gonna fly in Miami, but the direct flight's on United. I don't wanna lose the points or whatever, so I'm gonna take United, and so I just gotta fly to Orlando. So I'm gonna probably do Orlando. I think it makes more sense. So Orlando, go to Miami. Probably gonna be there for like 12 days. I don't know. Email me quickly if you're trying to get in and we'll try to schedule it. Um, it's gonna be crazy. Because then shortly after that I come home. August is fucking booked. I have one week open on August 18th to 24th. There's no tattoos planned right now. Um, I imagine that probably won't stay that way. It's a busy couple of months. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to rant about. I'm trying not to talk shit today. Occupational hazard. That is so annoying. This is why I hate owning a car. I don't like it. Oh, I 
own a car. It's just going to be sitting there in fucking Colorado, not doing shit. Did you see this new thing? Now, I don't know if it's good or not, this app. If you say the words Turo out of your mouth. No, no, where you leave your car at the airport and other people rent it while you're gone. It sounds like Turo. But it's not air, this is like airport. This is for people that- I don't know if I want to rent out my Tesla, man, in fucking airport fights. Rent out the Solera. The Solera. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, it keeps coming up in my thing though. It's like, if you're leaving your car at the airport anyway for five days, why not have a straight? You're whipping around the city. The scruff gets you everything you need to. I saw you uploaded something last night. Oh, yeah, he got me that. The Quentin Tarantino. He so, hated it. I've already talked about it enough. Yeah. I've already been on Twitter. I got so many good one line. Now that I've thought about it even, I would have fucked a piece of shit. But yeah. like, I'm wearing these today to decide if I want to keep them. Because the 12 and a half or whatever, it's yeah. not the most comfortable okay. compared to. Like, even those for all oh, the solar hues that I've been the last few days. That's just like what it is. And they're going. The colors are going. I keep going to these estate sales and I just picture everybody going through all my shit after I'm dead. And it just makes me want to sell everything. The car. Yeah. Teddy just told me I look like an extra on Clueless. Well, you said you start. I said I've been eating 100 milligrams every night before bed. I wake up, I'm a little groggy, I'm a little high, and I looked at you and I said, Yeah, you're dressing like you fucking ate 100 milligrams before bed. That's my luck. That's cool. Yeah, you have the Jeremy Pivot college dropout look. I'm headed uh, to do some things and get some He's like lunch. an undercover cop who's trying to buy weed at like a concert. Like if you ask me to buy weed at a concert looking like this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. It's like the girl at lunch thought you were a cop. She did think I was a cop. That was horrible. <laughs> oh. Not too much went down today. Not too much to inform you. So there will not be a vlog this evening. We dropped sticker packs. We did We did drop sticker packs. By the time you all see this, they will be long gone. Probably. But. If there's any left, they'll drop. Mm hmm Now we're pretty much headed back. Guy walking right up on the car. Yeah, he's checking out. Checking out the car. Checking out the car. Checking out. Checking out the car, and then he sees the camera. And now he's headed the other way. Oh shit! Wait, I'm on a TV show. Uh, am I dropping you off? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Right? Is there any? What else? Yeah. Gotta edit and draw. On. Fuck it. Then drop me off tomorrow. Shoe sale. Find Florida hotel. Oh, and I gotta go look through all the shoes. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll check in with you guys later. I'll be editing tomorrow's vlog. No, you won't. <laughs> Can't edit a fucking damn tweet. Nobody can. Ah, that's. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Come back inside. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. No t shirt. T shirt's gone. T shirt's gone. Oh, it's hotter than hell out there, dude. All right. Hot. All right. I came home. It's like 2 33 o'clock. Super full from lunch. And. Shoes. I'm gonna come in here and organize this. There's not enough going on. I'm also gonna go through this and figure out like the final. What I'm gonna keep, what I'm not gonna keep, what stays, and what goes. Probably the final installment of a boost sale comes after this. I doubt there's gonna be too much more left. Ernie's Law. It is Ernie's Law. Murphy's Law is outdated. There's a new update. There's a new update to the laws of if anything can happen, it will happen. It's now Ernie's Law. <laughs> Murphy's is the old shit. That's what happened to your parents. <laughs> Ernie's Law for the new generation. <laughs> I told Ern about a dilemma that we had with a graphic. I've been in contact with Scruff all day about it. I told Ern as I was in contact with Scruff about it. We were talking about it. Ern's okaying me. I was trying to drop. busy. I was trying was, to drop these He was fucking pads. doing something on his keyboard. Only entering his Fortnite stats into his little fucking <laughs> diary. Fort diary. I have like a real life version and you can buy the skin on it. Real life skins. <laughs> Look. Look at us. Look at it. Fucking losers. <laughs> But yeah, Ernie's uh, Law. I don't even remember. Uh, oh yeah, you hit up Scruff, you're like, oh, we need this, we need this fixed. Hours later, after it's already been fixed. I just like to follow up. Oh, yeah. A little double checking. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, this guy's gonna jump. No, where's he going? His car's broke down. Oh. But he was ending it. He's not even using the bridge. <laughs> Alright, we can't use that. 